Okay, I call this video to paint or not to paint um, your standard Langstroth beehive. We have all the components uh, that you can see here on the floor. This is our main brood chamber, uh, a deep box, deep chamber um, filled with frames. These don't have any foundation in them right now, but um, there's 10 frames in here. This is our inner cover. That will go on top of the topmost box. This is our outer cover or telescoping cover. This goes on top of everything else, has a metal top to it. Um, and this is our bottom board. The bottom board sits beneath all of your boxes at the very bottom. So uh, the question is, what do we paint and what don't we paint? Um, and what is the reason for painting, first of all? so. Um, the main reason that you want to paint, or that you may want to paint, is that um, you want to preserve the lifetime of, uh, you want to extend the lifetime of your hive. Um, you've obviously purchased your hive components, so we want to protect them from the elements, rain, snow, sleet, hail, everything else, and um, we do that by painting them. Most most of this is made out of a softwood like pine and that has a tendency to rot um, fairly easily so if we protect it with paint and primer then you can um, extend the lifetime of your 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 woodenware so what do we paint first of all you don't want to paint anything that the bees are going to come into direct contact with so there's absolutely no reason to paint your frames. You should not be painting them. Um, similarly, there's no reason to paint the inside of, of, your, of your hive bodies, of your boxes. So here's a close-up inside the hive. Um, there's no reason to paint that wood. The bees will come in contact with it, and it will not be exposed to the elements. So. Um, do not paint that. However, the outside of your box is fair game. So this surface here, including all of the end grain on your joints, should all be sealed with paint. And that's probably going to be one of the first places to start rotting away because moisture will seep into the end grain of the wood. And you want to seal that with a good primer and, and an exterior paint. For your inner cover again this is going to be inside the hive so there's absolutely no reason to paint it it's going to be protected by your telescoping cover so um, you can leave that as is and that should be fine um, as for your outer cover you can see here it's partially protected by metal but also partially exposed so what I suggest doing before putting on your metal cover, go ahead and paint all of the side surfaces. You can even paint a little bit underneath that lip if you want. I'll just show you from here. So paint all your side surfaces. You don't necessarily need to paint the top, but it's not going to hurt this surface here. You do not need to paint, however, inside here. Once that's all done and dry, you replace your metal cover. Some people nail this on. Now the bottom board, the last piece here, is up for debate a little bit. Some people say to paint it, other people say to leave it bare. Um, I personally will probably paint the sides um, and any end grain here. This is end grain. So if you imagine the wood when it grows is going to be growing upwards. This is called end grain and that's um, where a lot of moisture can seep in. So seal that all up. I'm not going to paint this surface and probably won't paint the bottom surface either but I might. So the, the, the surface that's going to be inside the hive, 
I would leave that bare. Um, the bees are going to be contacting that. So, and it's also going to be protected from the rest of the hive. So no need to paint that inside. Okay, last but not least, what do we use? So, here I have a few things. This is a... This is an all-in-one uh, primer and sealer. This is 100% acrylic latex. And, as you can see here, it's good for exterior. You don't want to be using only interior paint. You want to make sure that um, your primer and your paint says exterior paint on it. So, that's a primer. I'm going to put one coat of this on. That just seals everything, gets it ready for painting. And then, last but not least, I'm going to put on some, uh, some white indoor-outdoor easy cleanup latex. This is acrylic latex again. Um, just a small can um, should should be plenty. And after my primer is dried, I'll put uh, probably only one coat of that on. You don't need to put tons. Um, and that should be enough to protect everything. Now, why did I choose white? And you'll notice a lot of people choose white. It's a it's a light color. Um, it's not going to. Uh, attract a lot of sunlight. It's good at reflecting. Also, you'll you'll see a lot of beekeepers wear white, and that's just because bees um, bees have grown to defend against large dark objects like bears. So I have an article about that on my blog. If you want to follow my blog, go to bees.chrisinch.com and learn more about beekeeping and. I hope that you found this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments below and check out my other videos. Thank you very much. Bye.